Today for Mousetrap Monday, I wanted to show you a really fun project I've been working on, and this mousetrap completely sucks. Up mice, that is. I connected an automatic switch to a vacuum cleaner. That way, when the mice go inside, they turn on the switch, and the mouse gets sucked down the tube. Then the trap resets itself, and you can catch mice all night long. This is a really simple build. I got all the material at the local hardware store, and in my next video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to make this. Now, the key feature of this trap is the infrared motion sensor. I purchased this in the light switch section. These are really convenient. You hook them up in a room and you have a timer. If the infrared switch doesn't detect anyone in the room, it'll turn the lights off. And you can adjust this between 30 seconds and 30 minutes. We're gonna set it for 30 seconds to run the vacuum. This light switch is hooked up in a box here. We have a plug and a round. We'll bring in power here and plug in the shop vac on this side. Now the design's a little complicated. I started out making a prototype that looked like this. This is much more simple. We had the sensor right here, a tube for the vacuum in the back. The mouse would go inside, set it off, and then get sucked up in the vacuum. The problem was this didn't work because the airflow from the vacuum didn't turn off the sensor. So with the vacuum running, this thing would go all night long. We don't want that, so I had to redesign it. And this is what I came up with. Now the infrared sensor has a 180 degree field of view. We wanted to narrow that, so I have a tube here with PVC and a cap. That way the beam only goes forward. I have a PVC T right here. So this will only trip when the mouse is in the center of this tube. You put your bait on this side, and then you plug it with wire. That way the mouse has to enter through this side. We have another PVC T. The mouse can go in. It can go straight and up the tube, and then fall in the shop vac. But with the bait, it will take a 90 degree through the screen and in front of the sensor. Now the screen in between these is a key feature, because the airflow doesn't go in front of the sensor, and it will turn off. Now the vacuum will stay on as long as the mouse is in the tube. But it's pretty noisy, so the mouse will run out and as it hits the T, it'll get sucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, and I'll use a light bulb instead of the shop vac, just to show you how this works. Bring in our power. So imagine instead of a light bulb, the vacuum's plugged in. Anything in the hose will get sucked up. Most likely we'll be catching mice at night, so I'm gonna turn off the light to demonstrate this. Do 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 do, going inside here. Do, 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 do. Now the switch will run the vacuum for 30 seconds and then turn off. Here's what my vacuum trap looks like when it's all set up and ready to go. For a shop vac, I'm using a brand called Buckethead. It fits right on a five gallon bucket. You can fill this with water at the bottom. That way you can drown the mice. And these are pretty cheap. I got this at Home Depot. If you already have a shop vac, that will work as well. Now the mouse is gonna go in the tube, come over, hit that trigger. And then after 30 seconds, it turns off and resets. Now we're gonna test out the vacuum trap with our pet mouse. I'm gonna turn it off before he gets sucked up, so he's pretty safe. The noise really freaked him out. He immediately turned around, so he would get caught if he was a wild mouse. Come on out, Chili. The vacuum trap worked well with our pet mice. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and get some wild mice. Last night was the first night we tested out our vacuum trap and there's two mice floating in there. This trap worked really well, but you can't see what's going on. So I decided to get a clear bucket right here. This thing was not cheap. I bought this on eBay for $50. That's really expensive for a bucket, but I wanted to show the trap in action. So we're gonna set it up tonight. This first night, we're not gonna use water. That way you can see the mice drop in, but they will be able to climb back out through the hose. The second night, I'm gonna set it up with water and see how many mice we catch. So let's test this out with a clear bucket.
All right, once again, our shot back trap worked well. Last night we caught another mouse. It wanted to get the bait, went in there, hit the infrared sensor, turned on the vacuum, and that makes a lot of noise. The mouse ran out but got sucked up, and with the water in there, you got it. On the first night, we caught two mice. This brings our total to three. Recently in my videos, I started leaving the mice outside overnight to feed to the wild animals. I've been setting up the motion cameras, and I've just been amazed at how many different animals love to eat these mice. So let's go set up the motion cameras again and see what feasts on this mouse three-course meal. I really enjoy filming the wildlife footage for the Mouse Trap Monday videos. When you set up the trail cameras, you never know what's going to come along and eat the mice. That first mouse was enjoyed by a young red-tailed hawk. The hawks seem to really like the rodents, even if they're dead. Now I was surprised by the second mouse. That was a scrub jay, almost like a blue jay. It didn't take long for the jay to find the mouse. It picked it up in its beak and flew away with its prize. Now that third mouse was really fun. I didn't know there were so many wild animals in my shed. First the opossum came and found the mouse and chewed it right up, crunch, crunch, crunch. Opossums are so ugly. Then a big striped skunk came. I bet that skunk will come back and be in future videos. Also there's a wood rat running around and a weasel. I would have loved to see the weasel hunt a wood rat or a mouse. Now if you want to learn how to make this trap, in my next video I'll show you step by step how to build it. But the idea of making a vacuum mouse trap is not something new. Back in 2015 there was a Kickstarter campaign for a product called the Rat Vac. The inventors tried to raise $60,000, but only received $430 in pledges, so the trap never went to market. There's also a vacuum mouse trap designed for industrial buildings that's really good at sucking up mice. That trap's called the Beaten Path. It looks really good. But you can also build a vacuum mouse trap just like this one. Currently, I'm posting mouse trap videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider clicking the button right there. If you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.